What's up everybody, this is DevBird here, and we are going to continue our dialogue system, and we currently have a lot of bugs. Um, if you see here, we're going to play, and if we hit next line, like a lot of, um, the text kind of gets messed up. And we're going to fix all of that in this episode, and we're going to start off by um, creating some more text in our lines so that it's easier to use. So I'm going to say continued text here. Hello, one, two, three. We'll give them a name too. We'll give them a little icon while we're at it. Just for fun. Um, what's going on, everyone? This is one, two, I am the final line. Goodbye, everyone. Alright, so that should set everything up, and we're going to begin our tutorial. So, first of all, what we're going to do is going to go to your test script, which should look like this, and we're going to change space to tab. That's not going to do anything, but um, it's going to be easier for us to debug because if you hit space after you hit next line, you'll see that it'll actually go to the next line because it'll actually push the button down. Space and enter push its buttons down. So you don't want to map anything to space and enter. And so it's easier in the future um, to have it as tab. Alright, so let's continue. So first, we're going to um, see how we can make it so that when we hit next line, if we're currently typing something out, it'll actually just auto-complete it and not go to the next line. So in order to do that, we're gonna do a new we're gonna need a new variable. We'll make it a private boolean is currently typing. We're going to need another variable, private string, um, complete text. Alright, so with these two variables, um, we'll be able to do a lot. But before we do that, um, you see all this dialogue options stuff, so we're going to clean this up a bit. We're going to take this, we're going to copy it, we're going to bring it down, Create a private void um, options parser. Paste that in. Um, go back up. Delete this. Copy this part. Paste them here. Copy this. Collapse that. And then pass in TB. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but this is just so that it's easier to read. You want your code to look clean. And if you have a large chunk of code, then you probably want to put it in a method so that's easier to read. Alright, so in case you haven't done the options tutorials, you don't have to do that in order to view this video. Um, this is completely different. So with that out of the way, let's get back to um, this stuff here. So we're going to want to know if we are currently typing. So currently typing equal to true. And then when we get down here, we're not typing anymore. There you go. So now we know when we are and when we aren't typing. Um, we don't need this, and we're not going to need this anymore. So, we're going to now go back up here and make our complete text equal to info.mytext. Alright, and then we're going to need another method. We'll put it down here. We'll make it a private void 
complete text. And complete text is going to simply make the dialog text dot text equal to the complete text. Simple. And so now all we need to do is we need to know when we are when we need we know where to put this basically. So where are we going to put this? So if we are at the last dialogue, then you know just get out of there. But if we are currently talking, oops. So if you're currently talking, then what do we want to do? We're going to want to complete the text. Oops, wrong one. Going to capital C. Complete the text. And then return out. Because we don't want to DQ the dialogue or anything like that. We need a couple more things. We need to stop the current coroutine. So we're going to stop all coroutines because. Um, you could just pass in the coroutine, but this is simple. Since we only have one coroutine, we can do this. But if you have multiple coroutines, then you can stop a specific coroutine like this. And then you can just pass in the type text, but I'm not going to do that here. And then um, once we've done that, we currently is currently typing is equal to false. So we're not typing anymore. So let's run through this. Um, we open the dialog, we check if we're typing, and obviously we can't be typing yet, we just opened it. And it's gonna do its regular thing. Um, we're just going to clear, just in case, we're gonna clear the dialog text here. Um, so it's going to clear the text, and then it's going to open it up and then now we are typing, and it's going to do all this stuff. Cool. Alright, so what happens next if I hit DQ dialog? Well, we are typing now. And so we're going to complete the text. And so it's going to make the text the complete text. We're going to stop all the coroutines, so it's going to stop typing. And then we're going to uh, make sure that we are not typing anymore. So let's see how that works. I'm going to hit tab, and boom, hit next line, and you see here that it complete typing. It completed the typing. So we hit type again, and it completes the text. Next line, boom. Oh, but you see that we actually need to move this up here. So let's try that again. And this time it shouldn't go to the end. There you go. Then now it goes to the options. So that's all you need to do, and that fixes everything. There's gonna be one more thing though, because when we. If you notice. We're going to go through this, and so see we have no more uh, messed up lines where all the text is all jumbled up. But there's one more bug we have. So when we get to this screen, we can actually still open up the dialog like that. Normally you can't because we have a system in place that prevents that. See, I'm hitting open the dialog, I'm pressing tab, but nothing's happening. Um, all right, so we're gonna make sure that we're still in the dialog, even if we're in the options. So we're gonna make this a public bool. And then we are going to go down here. And usually we'll just make sure that we're not in the dialog at the end of the dialog, but what if we have options? So we'll do else. In options false. So basically what this means is that if we are if there is a dialogue options then we don't turn off the dialogue or we don't turn off the in dialogue. 
So if we have options, then we're still in the dialog. If we don't have any options, then we just exit out. So right now, we don't need to make sure that we turn it off somewhere if we have options, but you'll see now that I can't open up the dialog anymore. But I still can't open up the dialog even after it finishes. So we need to make sure that um, once we click on a button, uh, it closes out. Or it makes sure that we're not in the dialog anymore after we hit a button. So you can ask yourselves, where do we hit a button? That's a good question. Well, we press the button in the Unity Event Handler. So, so on pointer down, this is what it, this is what happens when we click on a button. And we're going to make sure that not only do we close the options, but we also exit out of the options buttons or the in dialog. Sorry about that. Make it equal to false. Alright, so now when we click on a button, it'll properly exit us out of the dialog and if I hit tab again, hey I can open up the dialog again. And I can keep doing that as much as I want. And so that concludes this episode on fixing the bugs that we had and adding in autocomplete feature. Um, let me know what you guys want for the next episode, and I'll see you guys next time.